Hey there, City Prez. Elder Mayland again. Confession of Sin. Again. Yeah, here we are. And um, there are uh, a number of reasons, as I, I, I say this a lot, there are a number of reasons that we have a confession of sin every week. Um, one of the reasons is that we don't want our concept of needing salvation to become abstract, uh, rarefied, you know, removed from us, or kind of this thing off in the distance. Um, no, you know, instead we want it to be real to us, um, to be something that we actually grapple with, and uh, and also an act of very concrete faith, uh, just like Jonah in the sermon passage this week. Uh, you know, we recognize that uh, we are in the pit. Uh, we are we are in the belly of the whale. The waters have closed over us, and uh, and we have thrown ourselves into the sea. And yet, God is faithful. God is faithful to hear our cries for help and to come help us. So, let us confess together today. Blessed Jesus, you offered us all your blessings when you announced, Blessed are the poor in spirit, but we have been rich in pride. Blessed are those who mourn, but we have not known much sorrow for our sin. Blessed are the meek, but we are a stiff-necked people. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, but we are filled to the full with other things. Blessed are the merciful, but we are harsh and impatient. Blessed are the pure in heart, but we have impure hearts. Blessed are the peacemakers, but we have not sought reconciliation. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, but our lives do not challenge the world. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me, but we have hardly made it known that we are yours. Your law is holy, and your benedictions are perfect, but they are both too great for us. You alone are blessed. We plead with you to forgive our sins and give us the blessing of your righteousness. Let's take a moment to consider our sins this week. Friends, as I've said, we constantly find ourselves in the pit of sin, a pit that that we are constantly throwing ourselves into, but we are not without hope because Jesus willingly sacrificed himself for us and rose again. Hear now the assurance of pardon. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. <laughs>